that leaves one last hole to create in our cube. I'm going to do this in a completely different way. I'm going to use the hole tool. You can see in the model options here, click on where it says hole. The way the hole tool works, it wants me to say where I'm going to position the hole. You can do all sorts of holes, threaded holes, stopped holes. You can have ones with, so if you've drilled it with um, pointed base or bottom to the hole, you can have counterbores, countersinks, you can do all sorts of things. I can set in the dashboard that the diameter that I want, which is going to be 8, and I can say that I want the hole to go all the way through. Just got to say now what surface I want the hole to go on. I click on this top face here. Got some grab handles here. I want those grab handles to go on the front datum plane. You notice when I grab them, they go black and the right datum plane. Those distances to those planes, I can click on those here. I can go in placement. I've got those distances. Sometimes it's easier to find. It can be a little bit confusing which dimensions you want to change. So I've just clicked on placement. The placement options drop down. Our offset references, references are shown there. I can afford to, if I click in there, I could make that aligned. So in other words, instead of being an offset, it is now equal. Or I could set the offsets to zero. So the hole is now in the middle of that face of our cube. Click on placement again to close that. We told it we wanted the hole to go all the way through. That is the case. So I can accept or apply that hole. Control and D to get the 3D. We now have our three holes in the cube.